Dear customer, thanks for choosing the Puck Fine Welding device. We are confident that you will be as satisfied with the use of the device as we are with the result of our development work. We are proud to demonstrate the unboxing and setup of the welding system by viewing the next video sequences. With this video, we acknowledge that nowadays it is old-fashioned to read an operational manual, although it is essential to get familiar with the machine and the welding process in particular. To transport the information all the same, we decided to visualize the operating manual into a nice and helpful video. We as developer and manufacturer choose the jewelry model for this video. Nevertheless, the basics are applicable to any Lampert Puck device and the setup process is similar. In the following chapters, we will show you the first steps to set up your puck, give some instructions and help to familiarize with the basics of fine arc welding. We promise you, it is easy to learn and you'll be surprised how simple it is getting convincing results with your puck. Please place this puck teacher tablet next to your puck and get started. In the first chapter, we are going to be looking at how to set up your new Lampert puck machine. Everything comes included in this box. The one thing you'll need extra is a bottle of argon gas. And this can be obtained from your local bottle gas dealer. Be sure that the purity is at least argon 4.6. The type of gas connector depends on your local country, but we took care along with your order that you are provided with the correct joint. Let's start with the device box. Here we have a nice little welcome pack on top. First of all, make yourself familiar with your welcome folder. It contains basic welding instructions, a paper bag containing small stainless steel plates and also a piece of stainless steel welding wire, a DVD with useful instructions in several languages and in addition to that, it also has got information on accessories and welding wires and also, what is vitally important, the operating manual. There is a little bit of assembly and that is on the microscope. Within the microscope box, you will see a couple of environmentally friendly paper bags containing the following items. The handpiece holder, a pair of armrests, the tilting mechanism and the eye cups. Within the assemblies box, you will find as well an adjusting tool to fix the vertical adjustment along with a spare glass panel for the eye protection shutter. First, support the microscope head with one hand and open the star grip on the side of the microscope bar and push the microscope head upwards and carefully set it aside. Then you turn the base plate upside down. Now mount the armrest to the base plate. This is done with the supplied screws and the Allen key. They are screwed on each side of the base plate from below and hand tightened with the Allen key. Subsequently, the tilting mechanism is attached. To do this, Prefix the thumb screw with some turns and insert the short metal bar into the opening on the underside of the microscope bar so that the rounded side protrudes about a quarter of an inch. The tilting mechanism is fixed by the enclosed thumb screw. Now the microscope is again placed upright on the base plate. Then the handpiece holding arm is slid over the microscope bar and fixed with the thumb screw at medium height. Then the microscope head is reassembled and tightened with the star knob. Finally, the eye cups are placed over the two oculars. Your welding microscope is now ready for use. Let's focus on the accessories box. You will find your power lead, handpiece, the tubing for the argon gas, electrodes and a diamond grinding wheel, connecting cable and several spare parts as well. And also a brass scratch brush for cleaning the welding seam. With all these on the bench, let's get this Puck 5 assembled. We're going to follow on with the handpiece. It only fits in one way into the holder here. The connector here connects into the front of the panel here. It only goes in one way, so there is no reason to get confused. Put it into place and gently turn it slightly until it goes in. Push it a little bit and use the thread on the outside and just make sure it is strongly tightened, just with your hands.
So, through this lead flows the electric to the electrode, and also the argon gas which we come to in a short while. Let's turn the machine round and let's put up the connectors on the back. We will carry on with the microscope. The microscope also has another lead that comes out of the optics. This is a nice long lead and it's coloured in red and yellow on the end and that will fit into the socket by here. It shows here the glasses and also the light symbol. And again, that pops in only one way, slots into position and again we just screw that down until it locates nice and securely. This socket here is if you want to use the extractor and also the foot control. But these are additional accessories and can be obtained at your local pack dealer. Down here we have the on and off switch. Here is my mains lead that will fit into the bottom here. Let's put the argon gas tube. The argon gas goes into the bottom right hand corner here. That is a simple push fit in on the connector and then the nut comes across and screws that into position as well. Again, nice and hand tight. The connectors are all sorted out on the back of the machine. Let's draw our attention to our argon gas. In one of our boxes is the flow regulator as well as a short description. This is specifically made by Lampard and allows for the correct delivery of argon gas to our pack. It comes complete with a couple of dials. This dial here tells us how much pressure there is in the tank. And this dial here will tell us how much argon gas is coming from the tank to the machine. So first of all make sure that the gas bottle is secured against any tilting over. Then we need to screw this connector into the top of our tank. The connection is country specific. Now it is vitally important that this joint is completely sealed. Have appropriate wrenches to close it really tight and do not use any kind of grippers. This is a vitally important joint. We take the other end of our argon gas tube that goes into the back of our machine. Put it onto the end there and again a simple nut that we hand tighten. Like that there. So that is all the connectors ready. Just a connector is left to be attached to the front of the machine. The black plug now goes into the black socket. And this is here for you to hold onto the piece that enables you to have the electrical connection. We are ready now to turn the machine on. The on and off switch is located on the back of the machine. Turn that on, the light comes on the microscope and the main unit comes on as well. The device undertakes a self-test and you'll see a warning sign for safety reasons. The basic language of the menu is English but can be changed into your desired language. We have to press the central knob here. We keep it pressed for two seconds so the setting menu comes up. From this setup screen we've got a lot of options. You can alter the language down on the bottom in the centre here. That enables to change into several languages by pressing the menu entry. Each time you press the menu entry the language will skip into the next one. We need to turn on the main supply slowly with two hands. It is important to open the gas valve slowly to avoid any damages on the dials coming from the high pressure of the gas bottle. So this left hand dial shows us how much pressure is in the tank, so that tells us how full the tank is. Then we press our gas valve upon the left top of the menu. This right hand dial shows us how many litres per minute of argon gas is coming through the tube and out onto the handpiece here. We need to turn the knob counterclockwise initially. We then need to turn this control clockwise, so this needle hovers around the 2 litres per minute. Once it's there, turn off the gas valve. And that is now set the correct amount of argon gas coming from the tank into the handpiece. Let's put in an electrode. I'll show you the correct procedure for that. They're all double-ended. They are sharp. Be cautious. Take out the handpiece. This front nozzle we simply pull off and set aside. It is not screwed. Inside here we have a chuck. Open it with some turns. Grab one of your electrodes, just pop it roughly into place. On the holder, we've got two little slots. There is a slot on the right hand and a slot on the left hand. This is to ensure that you get the correct length of the electrode protruding from the handpiece. So don't fasten it just yet. Put it quite loose. 
put it onto the groove we've got here and push up with your handpiece so the handpiece touches the side of the holder. That is now the correct length. Then simply hand tighten the nut. Do not use a spanner. Slip the nozzle, put that into the holder and that now is all set. Let's look at the optics and get these just right for you. What we need to do first is to adjust the eyepieces because everyone's eyes are different, nearer together or further apart. You need to look through the eyepieces and move these eyepieces together so we see one image nice and clear. And what I'm looking at is the electrode that we've got down to the bottom here. The adjustment we can use to move the microscope up and down. Because our eyes are perhaps not equal strength, we can now turn the left hand eyepiece so the left eye is now in focus. And that's perfect. And once you've got both eyes in focus, the setup is complete. Wearers of glasses can either wear their glasses or put them aside, as you prefer. With the tilting mechanism, you can adjust the convenient handling position individually. So this is how we unbox and set up the Lampard Puck 5. Thanks for watching.